All right, guys, today I want to introduce you to a brand new Star Tracker on the market. And the reason I'm really excited for it is because it is ridiculously portable. It is tiny. Like, look at the size of this thing. Super light, and its profile is really square, easily slots into your bag. This is the Star Tracker that I've been waiting for. It's made by a Chinese company called Move Shoot Move. And when you compare it to something like the Star Adventurer Mini or the iOptron Sky Tracker Pro, which is the two that I've been using over the past couple of years, the size comparison is huge. This just stays in my bag now since I've received this. The problem with the Star Adventure Mini and the iOptron Sky Tracker Pro is they have this really weird profile. The wedge shapes is really difficult to kind of slot into your bag. And I often find myself leaving it at home but I can quite comfortably leave this in my bag and I've always got it at hand. It was made primarily as a time-lapse panning head, but it has a secondary function as a star tracker, which obviously to me is the more important feature. So I'm gonna talk about that first. And it's probably easier if I just show you guys how it works, how it functions, how you set it up, how easy it is to use. Okay, so the idea is you set up your tripod. In my case, I'm on my travels in Turkey at the moment, so I've got the Benro Travel Angel. Next up, take the unit, and in the bottom there's a screw thread, so you can put a, an Arca Swiss plate or a Manfrotto plate, whatever you use, and you can simply mount that to your tripod head. Next up, in order to use it as a tracking mount, you need another ball head. In my case, I've taken this small one from the Benro Slim. This is nice and light and portable for my travels. Then you need to mount your camera onto this ball head. And the unit is gonna rotate the camera. In order to track the stars, we need the axis of rotation of the unit to align with the axis of rotation, of Earth's rotation. And lucky for us in the Northern Hemisphere, the axis of Earth's rotation lines up with Polaris, the North Star. So in order to do that, we have a separate accessory to mount a laser onto the unit. You simply screw that on, and it comes with a very powerful laser which you can mount underneath. And you would simply point the laser at Polaris and then you can turn the unit on. You choose whether you're in the northern or southern hemisphere, and that will rotate the camera at the exact same speed as Earth's rotation, but in the opposite direction. That way you can get much longer uh, shutter speeds with the stars, and you'll have no star trailing. I've been using this over the past couple of months, and it's, I'd say it's mainly for wide angle lens. I mean, if you're shooting 16 mil, 24 mil, you can easily get five minute exposures out of this thing. Uh, even with my 50mm lens, I've very easily been getting one minute uh, exposures and with a bit of careful alignment, even two minutes, uh, with absolutely no star trailing. I wouldn't advise it for sort of telephoto lenses, 70 to 200mm. I'd say up to about 85mm is really good. Um, but this is really what I've been waiting for, just a wide angle star tracker, nice and portable, something you can kind of keep in your bag. It's very quick and easy to set up. You don't have to do any polar scope alignment. Using that laser is so quick and easy. And for someone like me who likes to do sort of run and gun shooting, I like to kind of bounce about different places all night. It's so quick to just set up after you relocate. Whereas with the other star trackers, you have to kind of line up Polaris and then use the scope and it can be so time consuming that I often find myself not bothering uh, because I'll end up losing so much time in the field uh, but using the laser mounted to this thing it's just so quick and so easy really good for running and gunning when it comes to being a time-lapse panning head you simply screw this directly onto your tripod legs stick your ball head onto the top uh, and then you have different settings of how many degrees uh, to turn after every shot. Personally, I find it very limited. There's only four options uh, for how much degrees you can turn each shot. And I find that really limits it. Um, if you want to do, say, like a Milky Way tracking time lapse, you, you do have to do a fair amount of mathematics and calculating. Um, there's also two panorama modes on there for 200mm lenses and 35mm lenses where after each shot 
it will move the camera uh, enough to, uh, to, for you to create a panorama. But again, I find that very limited because you can only do 200 mil and 35 mil. I think it'd be a lot better if you had some kind of digital input here where you can choose the focal length of your lens or you can choose the amount of degrees to turn uh, when doing a time lapse. But I kind of get the idea that if they were to be, uh, put that functionality in there, it would probably make the unit a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm not sure if there's going to be a version 2 coming soon, but for now, even as just a star tracker, I think it's just great value for money. The size, the weight, the packability, the ease of setup, it's just a really, really good unit. And it's something that's going to stay in my bag now until, I don't know, until they make a new one. So make sure to follow that link in the description below if you do want to purchase one of these. And if you do, let me know how you get on with it. And if you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, I wish you good luck and clear skies. Sweet.